Welcome to the Type 63 Gold Camel Guide for Cold War. I'm going to go through everything you need to know to complete gold for this gun as fast and efficiently as possible. Timestamp so you guys can skip through the video. We're going to start off with camel challenges, then do attachments, and then do extra tips for the Type 63. For the camel challenges, they mirror the exact same challenges as the rest of the attack rifles, so some of them will be very easy and some of them will be difficult. Heading into the first category, unlocked at level 0 is spray. This is getting 300 eliminations. Don't worry about this. You will complete this while working on other challenges. Unlocked at level 5 is stripes, and this is getting 100 headshots with the Type 63. Super straightforward. Aim for the head. One shot headshot kills in hardcore, which is where I have played most of my progression towards the Type 63. Just aim for the head, and headshots shall come very easy for you. Coming up next is the classic category unlocked at level 10. This is getting 5 kills without dying 20 times, so you need 20 bloodthirsty medals, which can be difficult for players who aren't that good. I highly recommend camping it out if you're struggling with this weapon, or if you're really dominant and really good with the Type 63, these bloodthirsty medals will come super easily for you. You also can stack bloodthirsties as well, so if you get 5 kills in a life, it'll count as 1. 10 kills in a single life with your Type 63 will count for 2. 15 for 3, so on and so forth. Just make sure all your kills are coming from the Type 63 itself. Going into the next category, unlocked at level 20 is Geometric, and this is getting 50 long shot medals. On the bigger maps where there's lots of long lines of sight, play hardcore, so that's Satellite, Moscow, Raid. You can get long shots basically on every map, even Nuketown. So take advantage of hardcore because your gun basically acts like a sniper rifle with one shot, one kill, and you can get long shots done extremely easy. Only took me three games to complete this challenge. Unlocked at level 30, you will get Flora, and this is killing 75 enemies detected, stunned, or blinded by your score streaks, equipment, or field upgrades. I highly recommend running UAVs, counter UAVs, and harps, because as long as you have one of these active, you'll be getting your progression towards this challenge. I also highly recommend playing on Nuketown with the field mic. Put the field mic in the enemy's spawn. I highly recommend doing this in Domination just because spawns are super predictable and the spawn traps are really strong within Dom on Nuketown 24-7. I highly recommend Hardcore just because the Type 63 will dominate in Hardcore. And as long as the enemies are in your field mic zone, which is basically going to be that entire spawn area where their house is, you'll be getting kills towards this challenge. And also, if you are struggling, you can use stun grenades and flash grenades. However, by doing the Nuketown strategy, you can complete this challenge pretty quickly. Going into the next category, which is unlocked at weapon level 40, is Science. This is killing 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. Basically, kill enemies taking cover using head glitches or camping behind walls. Basically, if they are not 100% visible to you, you should be getting this camo challenge completed. Now, they did change this in a patch, and I don't really understand how they changed it. It used to be where the enemy had to be extremely close to the area that they are taking cover from, like they had to be right up to the barricade or right up to the windowsill for this to count. However, recently they've given a lot of leeway, so as long as they're behind a window or taking cover, head glitching, as long as you get that kill, it will count. Some of the best maps to do this on is Nuketown if you're hanging back by your own spawn, either camping in window to window, or if you're camping in the garages, you can shoot through the red bus or the red truck, and those kills will count as kills with enemies behind cover. You also can do this on variety of other maps. Also, Satellite, the Sand Dunes, if their heads are poking out from Sand Dunes and they're aiming at you or just up close to the sand dune, those will also count as kills behind cover. And if you guys know how satellite plays, that means you are going to get a lot of kills behind cover very shortly. Unlocked at weapon level 50 is going to be the psychedelic category, and this is basically just getting 25 double kills. Double kills are super easy if you're playing raid 24-7, hardcore, Nuketown 24-7, double kills will come extremely easily, and if you're playing hardcore domination and treating the Type 63 like a sniper rifle, you will be getting tons of double kills, spawn trapping on the bigger maps like Moscow, Satellite, Raid, so on and so forth. Now going into my attachments for the Type 63, I basically have a standard four attachment layout with one variable attachment and that one attachment is the barrel if i'm going for long range or long shots where i want to treat the type 63 like a sniper rifle i will run the 21.5 inch task force barrel this will increase your damage effective damage range and bullet velocity 
causing your bullets to travel a lot faster, making target with your enemies extremely fast. And the other barrel attachment that I will actually use is the 16.4 inch titanium barrel. Now I use the titanium barrel on the smaller maps like Nuketown or if I'm even playing Raid. The only time I'm using this barrel is when I'm trying to run around and get as many kills as fast as possible. All this attachment does is increase your fire rate, but you do lose effective damage range and your bullet velocity isn't that fast. So at long range, you have to lead your shots very similarly to how you lead your shots in Warzone, which can be a struggle on the bigger maps, but is still doable. If you are playing on satellite, I highly recommend using the 21.5 inch Task Force barrel. I used the 16.4 inch barrel on the map a little bit and it was just a struggle. So I highly recommend for those bigger maps where you're taking huge long lines of sight, use that 21.5 inch task force barrel for the rest of my attachments they're pretty straightforward and i don't really change them out whatsoever for my magazine i run the vdv 25 round fast mag more ammo capacity in the clip and you reload faster on my handle i run the gru elastic wrap just increases that ads time that that barrel might take away for my muzzle i run the silencer just because i play hardcore and it keeps me hidden off the mini map when the enemy do have a uav and it just keeps me quieter so i can spawn trap and flank a lot easier and for my optic i either switch between the axial three times sight the royal cross four times sight or the notch sova thermal site depending on what i'm doing if i'm using smoke grenades i'll throw on the thermal if i'm playing on large maps i'll run the four times and if i'm playing on medium to small maps i'll run the three times and sometimes i'll even throw a red dot site or reflex site on there just basically depending on what you're trying to do use the optic that helps you the most the fastest way to level up your weapon is either going to be playing your multiplayer game mode that you excel at the most so your favorite mode mine being hardcore domination or you can take advantage of double xp in zombies with the more people you have the faster you level up your weapon and you can get your weapon to max weapon level in 45 minutes the best game modes i found for the type 63 is anything hardcore because it's one shot kills at all ranges you can treat it like a sniper rifle you can treat it like an fal for modern warfare where you can basically have a semi-auto smg at close ranges and that's the biggest benefit of the type 63 is it can fit almost every game type or play style there is out there i hope you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you leave a like if you did enjoy dislike if you didn't there's no hard feelings subscribe for more videos in the future in the description there is going to be the full dark matter and dark ether camo playlist as well as a discord server i'm about to head out and if there is one i'll see you in the next one peace